It is the world famous Shiggy Jag Why You Show, coast to coast and motor to motor, all over the world wide web and on plus station. Across the U.S. and Canada, Canada. If you're watching us on the Starcom Television Network, you will see that we have a live shot. Also, we have me in the corner. That's me in the corner catching the trout. We are going to go to Frank Savalto from the New Media Journal. Hopefully, if I can get the Skype here going. Gotta love Skype. Gotta love Skype. Bang! We will uh, go to Frankie Boy here in a few moments. <laughs> what a circus today. Mr. Jack. <laughs> I love it. Frank Savalto, how are you, sir? <laughs> oh, I'm just uh, sitting here with one ear to the radio and one ear to the TV, getting all confused by all kinds of stuff. Yes, indeed. We, uh, we, we were trying to monitor C-SPAN earlier. They were telling me about... C-SPAN does all sorts of different things. It's like, I don't care about that. <laughs> then, I was, then I went over to Fox News, and I was watching them try to set up a camera so they could monitor the uh, the DC scene. Somebody just bumped it a minute ago. Uh, they're supposed to have a press conference. Now they're zooming. Now they're zoom- uh, if, you're, if you're watching this on the Starcom Television Network, as I am, uh, you, you see me in the corner, not to be confused with the R.E.M. song. And then you see, um, apparently, someone at the D.C. Bureau at Fox News trying to move camera or zoom it or <laughs> whatever. You, you need to be taking Dramamine when you're wiping, you're wiping that. Otherwise, you could get, get violently ill. <laughs> well, uh, we, we talked with Dr. Jack Caravelli from Lignet earlier about this uh, situation, and he was... Uh, he wasn't too concerned. He was out washing his car, and he happened to hear about it. And, <laughs> and yeah. then I've been trying to get our award-winning guest bookers to get me somebody. Nobody has anybody that can talk about this. And I'm like, damn it, I can't wait for 46 after the hour because I know I will be able to get somebody on who will know what the hell's going on. <laughs> so, Frank, you're the guy. <laughs> Well, it's, you know, it, as it turns out, uh, it was it was not anything that was related to the federal government. It was a, a high-speed chase that ended up going awry. Uh, the the uh, reports about this woman ramming the gates of the White House were erroneous. Uh, this not that does not begin on Capitol Hill. It was a custody battle with a woman who decided to pull out a weapon and start shooting at police. Oh my God! <laughs> it just it just kind of. <laughs> Ended by the uh, over by, by where the Rayburn Building is and 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 the Capitol Hill grounds over there with a, a plethora of, of DC police. This this is going to be one of those stories, much like the. Um, oh, uh, it's starting all, It's starting already. <laughs> Even on Fox was like, and you know, these the spat of gunfire, the spat of people oh, shooting. No! It's happening since we don't have a leader for Department of Homeland Security well, and blah, 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 blah. So here's, okay, we have now our second, our second story like this in the last three months that is going to befuddle every form of media. It's, it, it, it's, it, the first story obviously was the, 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 the black guys beating the hell out of the white guy and but because they were bored um that story screwed everybody up because they 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 were black so that 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 didn't you know cause any type of concern he was a white guy um they were bored so that the the story just basically went nowhere it didn't have anything you can't can't race bait with that one yes let's see so this so this story is the second of those stories so we, we 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 have ticked off the 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 conservative media because they can't use this as a way to go, well, uh, 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 Obama this and Obamacare and all that. Um, we, we can't use, the liberal media can't use it as, well, people are just angry and they're tired of the government shutdown, so they're, they're going to take their country back. Then um, it's going to tick off the Alex Joneses of the world because false flag <laughs> this, false flag that. Oh, my God, buy gold. So, so we don't have that. Um, but it yeah. makes you and I... Just so damn entertained because this is a story about 
Nothing! Yeah, it's, 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 a, it's a story about a woman in a custody battle and, and the, the, her belief that if she pulls out a weapon and starts shooting at people who have a lot more firepower than she does, that she's thinking she can get away with it. <laughs> You know, and and this, I, I don't care whether you're talking about the, the Navy Yard shooter, whether yep. you're talking about the black guys who were bored, went out and killed an Australian, <laughs> creating an international incident. Yes. Um, this all comes down to, there's one element in all of these stories, and it's, it's an element that's, it's a societal element of arrogance. Uh, the people who've decided, I, I'm going to do this, and I don't care if it's right or wrong, I, I don't care what the law is, I don't care if I shouldn't be doing it, I'm going to do it anyway because I get to do it. <laughs> and, 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 you know, and where does it come from? Well, turn on any of the news stations and start looking at the way our elected officials are, are acting. I don't care if the people don't want it, I'm going to do it anyway. Yeah, you know... Uh... You know the, this whole, this whole, I've, I'm right, you're wrong. It, it all comes from this idea that's being jammed down the throats of our little children once they get into the system, and it's this false flag self-esteem thing. Nobody gets to lose. Everybody's a winner. You never do anything wrong. You can never be criticized. We have to nurture your self-esteem so you feel fantastic about yourself. Well, you know what? If you're an idiot, you shouldn't feel good about yourself. I think it just. I think. I think it came. It comes down to uh, basically uh, the only thing I could think of is is Jim Morrison. People are strange. <laughs> <laughs> so and, 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 and just getting stranger all the time. <laughs> so the only thing I can think about is <laughs> that's it. People you know, go out. And they're strange. And, and they're being bred to be strange. I mean, I mean, it's, it's not even that we just, <laughs> for some reason, we've got this weird DNA in the United States where, where <laughs> mothers are starting to pop out little strange babies. Our society is making people strange. By nature, we want to actually please our parents. We want to get up our little babies. We crawl. Parents just come here. They clap. We go yay and do our stuff in our pants. We're happy. We always want to please. I'll, you want to please. You're on the air. You're trying to entertain. Yes. You're getting people to listen. You want them to come back. I'm trying to inform people so they come back. I'm trying to please people. But we've got an entire societal class of people who want to manipulate what reality is, saying it doesn't matter. Everybody's fantastic, and everyone should love everybody, and no one should be criticized. And, and so this mother decides she wants to. she's taken her kid. The courts probably said, listen, you do too much crack. You can't have your kid. And, and so she's going to take the kid anyway, and the authorities are saying you can't, so she locks and loads and starts shooting at people who can actually call a SWAT team in. It doesn't make any sense, but she's been told her whole life that she's fantastic. You can't do any wrong, honey. Don't worry about it. You're a winner. Look at all the trophies for nothing that you have that everybody gave you all your life. We don't keep, we don't keep score in sports anymore. It would hurt your self-esteem because you know what? You're the best crack smoker I've ever seen. <laughs> yeah, I, I am I, I'm so glad. Uh, and, and actually, I'm, I'm, I'm glad because this, this was not, you know, a craziness you know, oh my God, t type of thing. Do you, do you want to do you want to set your timer to see how quickly somebody comes out now? And, and I love the fact that they locked down Capitol Hill. They locked everybody into their offices. Yes. Because because the precious lives of the people who don't know what their asses from a hole in the ground are, are worth so much. So let's make sure they're all very very protected. They're gonna crawl out from underneath their little coward desks now, and someone's gonna make their way to a microphone, probably behind a big shield and a bunch of Secret Service guys with lots of guns, and they're gonna say, <laughs> "Guns are the problem." Exactly. Now, the guns are protecting this person who, who had the duck and cover because Lord knows there's an insane crack addict lady out there who's trying to take her kid. <laughs> you, know, you know, but they're going to say guns are bad. And I, I'm waiting. Did the timer go off yet? Did anybody come out and do that it yet? It hasn't because happened we, yet, but I think it probably will. They're probably, you know, it, it's like a scene in a movie where they're trying to get to the door and, and, and four or five people are trying to pull the person back so they can be the first one out the door. Every one of those little progressive anti-gun people right now, they're just, they're <laughs> trying to beat each other to the door to be the first one to the microphone to be able to say, it was the gun. Well, if you're watching us on the Starcom television network, you will see that I am in a corner. We have a picture of Frank Savalto in the corner. We have the live Fox News camera, which hasn't been bumped in a while, and it hasn't been extremely focused yet. 
Uh, so 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 it's it's focused. It's good to go. And then of course up in the other corner we have the Doors "People Are Strange" music video playing. <laughs> Mm-hmm. And, and I think you just about covered it. Good night, everybody. That's right. <laughs> I should have sent your bartender some wishes as they work hard. But, but, but that's that's the nut of it. Now, CNN, MSNBC, and all the mainstream guys, they're going to go berserk on this for, I don't know, all night long, maybe into tomorrow. Yes. And Ed show us to call somebody a dumbass. Yeah, it's going to bump the whole, it's going to bump the whole government shutdown thing off off the lead story spot for about 20 seconds right until they get to the point where she ran into one of the barricades that one of these numbskulls put up to keep a World War II veteran away from a memorial that's after a memorial as what he did. <laughs> well, I, I'm glad that, that we resolved this in an hour. <laughs> I'm glad this got resolved in an hour because our, our, our networks, our stations that, that carry us live, we're planning on letting us have five, six hours to cover this. It's not no, needed. No, no, <laughs> In no, no, two no. hours, I'll go off the air and we'll be done with this. Yeah, breaking, breaking news is done now. Back to your regular lives. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> yeah. let's, see, let's, let's see what Megan Kelly's wearing tonight. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> That's, That's always what it comes down to. Well, Frank... Thank you, sir. Uh, thanks for being on with us. Thanks for having a little fun with us and informing us at the same time. And uh, check out uh, New Media Journal on the Internet. Also, they are available on Facebook and Twitter. And, uh, Frank, have yourself a wonderful week. We'll talk to you next week, sir. I'll check in with you next week. Maybe something else will blow up before then. <laughs> Let's hope. Talk to you you soon, sir. Later. Frank Savalto, New Media Journal, newmediajournal.us with us. And, uh... Ah, uh, it's 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 too bad. I I was hoping we could have wall to wall coverage and and all sorts of things going on. And we are gonna we are we are gonna monitor the press conference. We we will air the press conference on this program. Um, if if something does uh, seem to take place or or is gonna take place, uh, we will. We will bring it to you. It is 59 minutes after the hour. Thanks for tuning us in today. It is the world-famous Jiggy Jaguar show, courtesy of our good friends over there on uh, JiggyJaguar.com. If you want to get more information on us, you can do so over there. And uh, I hope I recorded.